Hey, this is Ron from eCoverSoftwarePro.com. This video will cover how to add a sparkle effect to your GIMP project. And GIMP is a free image editor. It can be downloaded at GIMP.org, G-I-M-P dot O-R-G. Very powerful and highly recommended. So this is our eCover template provided to our customers to help them out with creating their e-covers from scratch should they have the need or feel the need and this is our example cover that we've created during these tutorial videos so I want you to turn your attention to the sparkles look at the text without and then with I mean it just adds a, a whole lot and really makes the uh, the covers stand out. I mean, seriously, I mean, the text doesn't even look like it's there's any light anywhere. But adding this, we get this nice little effect. I mean, it's even cooler if you have like a picture of a glass or, you know, anything shiny or even shiny text. I mean, whatever you have, and you just add a couple of those on, and it's pretty amazing. Anyway, let's delete this layer and do it from scratch first thing you need to do is create a brush that will uh, create these sparkles for you in order to do that you need to go to your windows dockable dialogs and select brushes alright and from there we're gonna create a new brush now don't worry you just do this once and you'll never have to do it again so new and let's call it sparkle so we know what it is. Or sparkles, why not? Go to this image here, this shape. Uh, it's a diamond ish shape. Um, and thanks to the guys at GimpUsers.com, you can apply the following settings and um, this was provided by them and it's kind of a shortcut to figuring it out 75 4 point zero 0.09 1 point 1.6 106 point 106.2 and it's not a radio station 106.2 and then the last is 20 so 75 4 0 0.9 1.6, 106.220. And that's it. Just X out that. X out the brushes dialog window. We've created the brush. Now what you need to do is create a new layer. So you go here to the create a new layer button. And let's call this layer sparkles. And it's transparent and OK. Now with this layer, you can see I have it selected here, sparkles. You need it to be at the very top of the image. So just click the up arrow until it moves all the way to the top. All right. Now let's use our paintbrush tool, which is here. And you're going to select a brush. And we have it, what it's going to do usually is select the newest brush you created. So we've got our sparkles brush here. And you can change the size, but what we're going to do is change the front color to white and click OK. And you'll see this huge kind of star shape or diamond shape. You can shrink it down a bit and just click wherever you want it to go. So you can see, I'll undo those. They're a little small. You can make them a little bigger. There we go. Bam. Bam. You can put one on her finger. Pshu. Another one here. Pshu. But not really. But anyway, that's all you do. And uh, to really make it stand out is if you do a lot of these, you want to change the size of them, you know? And don't overuse them or it will look ridiculous. But here we have a really nice cover. If we go to the finished version, got it here in eCover Software Pro and we've created all of these various covers. So anyway, check out our other videos and email us at support at eCoverSoftwarePro.com.